Hey there, CJ Math students. I'm going to help you out with homework 5.8, multi-step equations review. Uh, the first part says solve each equation by combining like terms first and show all the work on every problem. And that goes for the rest of the page as well. So sometimes when variables are on the same side of the equal sign, we can just go ahead and combine them and uh, then make our two-step equation. So k plus negative 6k is really like 1 plus negative 6, uh, which is negative 5k plus negative 1 equals negative 16. And there you have a beautiful two-step equation where all you're going to do is add positive 1 to both sides. Uh, that will cancel off. Make sure you're bringing down not a 5k, but a negative 5k. Uh, negative 16 plus 1 is negative 15. Divide by negative 5, and you have your answer as k is equal to positive 3, because the negative divided by negative is a positive. All right? Um, do plus negative on here. I'll let you take care of that. It's very similar to number 1. Um, all right, uh, number three. Uh, notice this time my like terms are actually constants, 7 and negative 5. Uh, and so when I combine those, I get 12 is equal to 5a plus positive 2, because that's what 7 plus negative 5a is. And uh, I go ahead and draw my Tetris. I will add negative 2 to both sides. Those cancel out. So I get 5a is equal to 10 divided by 5 and I get my answer of a is equal to 2. Those cancel out. 10 divided by 5 is 2. Um, so again, uh, here you have plus and negative. This is very similar, except here you'll be combining uh, variables again. All right, uh, number 5. Uh, we need to distribute first. So that means multiplying the outside term by both terms on the inside. So negative 4 times 2x is negative 8x. And then negative 4 times negative 7 is positive 28. So I'm saying that stuff out loud. Uh, you guys should almost uh, whisper to yourselves as long as you're not bothering the people around you as you do it as well because it just helps you kind of, as you say it out loud, it kind of reinforces uh, what it should be. So I added negative 28 to both sides. I get negative 8x is equal to uh, 84 uh, minus 28 here because we have different signs. So I'm going to subtract and keep the sign a little larger. So 84 minus 28 is 56. And it's positive because I had more positives. And then I end up dividing uh, both sides by not 8, but negative 8. And in this case, a positive divided by negative is a negative. So x equals negative 7. D. So I rewrite pause and try and do number 6 right now. Number 7, again, multiplying the outside term by both terms on the inside. So I get 104 is equal to 8 minus 24x or plus negative 24x. It's the same thing. I add negative 8 to both sides because I want to isolate my variable um, and those cancel out to be 0. So 104 plus negative 8 is really like 104 minus 8. That gives me 96 is equal to negative 24x. And then I divide by negative 24 on both sides. This cancels out and I get my answer of x is equal to 96 divided by negative 24, which is negative 4. That's my answer. If I were to pause and try and do number 8 and be very careful that this is plus a negative n, right? All right. Uh, on the back side, this is what we were doing all day with buzz math. When you had variables on opposite sides, just reinforcing the practice, guys. So negative 2x gets added to both sides. That cancels out. I'm left with negative 1x plus negative 5 equals negative 13. I'm then left with a two-step equation where I... My first step is I add 5 to both sides. This cancels out because it's 0. Um, I get negative 1x is equal to negative 13 plus 5 is negative 8 because there are different signs. So I subtract them. I keep the sign that I have more of, which was negative 13. I had more negatives. And then I end up dividing by negative 1. That's my last step. So in this case, x is not negative 8, but positive 8, because a negative divided by negative is a positive. Uh, if that was too fast, you don't understand. Rewind, rewatch, listen to what I'm saying. Uh, it all should make sense if you kind of really think it out. Try and do number 10. All right. Um, again, go ahead, and I see I have variables on either side of this equal sign. So I like to move variables to the left, but you can do whatever you want. If you wanted to add negative 4x 
to the other to this side, you'd still get the right answer. So that cancels out to be zero. I get a negative 11 plus 2x is equal to negative 3 because I had to do 4 minus 2 there. Draw my Tetris. First step would be adding 11 to both sides. Uh, those cancel out because it's zero. Um, and I have uh, 2x is equal to negative 3 plus 11. So different sides subtract. That gives me 8 because I had more positives than I did negatives. And then my last step, just divide by 2. This cancels out. And my answer is x is equal to 4d. I'd pause and try and do number 12. Uh, number 13. So again, I've got uh, 3n over here, so I add negative 3n to both sides. These cancel out because 0. Basically, this is 1, right? So 1 plus negative 3, or 3 minus 1, is negative 2n because I had more negatives. Plus 1 equals 11. Draw my Tetris. First step would be to add negative 1 to both sides. Yes, I'm putting plus signs. You should too. Uh, those cancel out because it's 0. Make sure when you're dropping down, you drop down the negative 2n, not just the 2n. Now, 11 plus negative 1 is really like 11 minus 1 since they're different signs, so I subtract. And so I get more positives. That's why it's positive 10. And my last step would be divide by negative 2, not positive 2, negative 2. Always being super aware of my negatives. n is equal to positive divided by negative will always be a negative. Um, doesn't matter if the positive is way bigger than the negative. Uh, positive, different signs, and a negative, different signs, DSN will always be negative. I'd pause and try and do number 14. And finally, uh, number 15. I'm going to go ahead and add negative 6a to both sides. This cancels off. Uh, basically, 1a plus negative 6a is negative 5a because really, different signs. So I subtract 6 minus 1, which is 5, but I had more negatives, so that's why it's negative 5a. I bring down everything else, so plus negative 5, so that was right there, equals 10. So I just brought those two guys right down, right? Draw my Tetris. Um, I'm going to add positive 5 to both sides because that was a negative 5, so uh, those guys cancel out. And I have making sure I bring down the negative 5a is equal to positive 15. And then my last step is to divide and making sure not by 5, but by negative 5 because I had. Uh, a negative 5 attached to the a as a coefficient. So 15 divided by negative 5, those are different signs. So hopefully you're like, oh, I got it. It's going to be negative, and it's negative 3. Uh, call me if you have any questions. Please make sure you show all work, and it's nice and neat and orderly. Um, the more you do this, the easier it becomes. All right, have a wonderful night.